Ah, I feel so much better. That was a satisfying poop. What is this contraption? Hmm. Oh, is this what the Europeans call a bidet? It's got adjustable water pressure too? Woo wee, that's fun. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. Ever since the coronavirus pandemic hit in 2020, there has been a huge shortage of toilet paper. But have no fear guys, you know, but days are the next hot thing. So today I'm reviewing the Anza Bidet Sprayer. All right guys, I'm at Walmart. Looks like there's some paper towels, but limited selection of toilet paper. As you can see, the whole chunk is gone. I've never seen it empty in my life on toilet paper. Look at this. You can purchase the Anza Bidet Sprayer on Amazon for around $30. It has a 4 feet double density stainless steel hose. It has adjustable water pressure. Can't wait to uh, use it. I think they're currently running a sale right now, like 40% off or something like that. So make sure you check it out. Now let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. Comes in this little box. I believe the installation steps are pretty easy. And here's the packing guide. Make sure all of these components are in here. You're gonna spray the hose, uh, the washers, and all that good stuff. Installation steps seems pretty simple. I have experience uh, installing a bidet before. So here are the components. You know, you got the, the hanger right there. Here's a spray nozzle, which is made of stainless steel. Okay. And that's, I think that's plumber tape. And here is the T valve. And here is the four foot long hose. Here are all the components straight out of the box. And I think they made adjustment and improvement to the design of the sprayer because in the old design, it has like a plastic handle for a sprayer. So this is a one piece stainless steel solid sprayer for those of you who are not familiar with a bidet or never used one why well, it basically replaces the use of toilet paper basically it's a personal hygiene or you could be whether it be you can use it for uh, washing pads as a pre-rinsing for your laundry or diaper washing or even as acts as a muslim shatat so basically you just you know after you're done with your number two, if you're pooping, you basically use a bidet to spray it to cleanse all the uh, leftover residue and they use a little bit of toilet paper to wipe it clean. All right, so welcome to my master bathroom. It's nothing impressive, so I'll be installing it to this toilet. The first step is to turn off the water supply. So you're gonna turn this off until you don't hear any water being supplied to the reservoir next step i'm gonna flush the toilet and hold it down until all water is drained from the reservoir keep on holding okay that's pretty much drained this is where it helps where you have a collector like a bucket because we're going to be unscrewing um, the cap all right notice the bucket i have our bowl and we're going to unscrew the toilet water pipe nut. This is where the water is going to come drain out. And make sure you have a flexible tube right here too. All right, next step is to install the T-valve in this orientation with the lever facing the back. Make sure your washer is flush and flat, it's resting in there. And what I'm doing is on this sleeve, I'm uh, rotating it counterclockwise to tighten it. Make sure it's flush, flat. All right, so that's pretty much tight. Next up is to reconnect the water supply pipe to the bottom of the T valve. The 
following step is to verify a washer is inside each end of this hose. And I'm going to use the shorter end right here to connect to the T-valve. And the other end goes into the sprayer. Since this is all ready assembled, I'm gonna just place it in a convenient location on the toilet bowl and just rest it in a nice location like that. And that's what it looks like. Before I turn on the water, I noticed that it's a, there's a caution right here that says do not use pipe tape or plumber's putty on the threads. So you guys can use this or not, it's optional. Now I'm going to turn on the water supply, make sure nothing leaks. That's good, that's a good sign. So here's the main switch for the bidet. You want to turn it on position, which is horizontal. And make sure that's off when you use it. So here we go, first time trying it, wish me luck. So that's halfway, oh it's working. It's not leaking, see, that's good. That's just medium power, I just slowly increase it. Look at the high water pressure, wow. It's gonna come in useful. So what you're gonna do is like, let's say you finish doing your number two, you just spray it behind your um, booty. If the bidet is not gonna be used for an extended period of time, I would suggest turning off the water supply. As you guys saw, the installation steps were fairly simple. If I can do it, you guys can do it too. So this is the revised design that's built to last and not leak. And what's also awesome about the bidet is that you have you can use it for many different type of uh, tasks. Pre-rinsing your shoes, your clothes, washing a baby, even washing a dog in a bathtub, or a baby in the sink. It has so many uses and with a bidet you want to save so much on toilet paper. You don't want to also um, stock up your toilet, you know. But you know some people just use way too much toilet paper. With the bidet you can simply spray it and use a couple of sheets of toilet paper to wipe it dry. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Until next time, take care of yourselves and your family.